Hello to all our viewers and welcome to Teams of Them. Today we are going to discuss CAD 2019 question paper in the sense that how was the paper, what kind of questions came in both the slots, the difficulty level, and what is the perception of the teachers who wrote the test and what is their take about the cutoff and the overall uh, marks that you would need to get a call from the IMs. So in the panel we have, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five people. And I will introduce uh, each and every member. We have Rahul sir, who is an Anandabad alumnus, and uh, he is also he has also scored hundred percentile uh, in CAT twenty seventeen, and he is the chief mentor here at Team Satyam. We have Abhishek Singh sir. Uh, he is a quant LRDI expert, and he has ninety nine percentile uh, in the in the section regularly. And uh, he, he has he has teaching experience of more than 12 years, sir? Yes. More than 12 years. And we have JP, sir, here. He has also been writing and teaching CAT for the past 12 years. He has uh, been a regular 99 percent tiler in the Quant LRDI section. And then we have Amit Goel, sir. He is an expert in the Quant section. And he also has been a regular 99 percent tiler in the Quant section. And we all will share our views pertaining to yesterday's uh, paper and what exactly we felt about the paper. So let's start, people, uh, with Rahul sir's uh, uh, inputs about uh, slot one. Mm. What exactly, sir, is your take about slot one, and what are your first thoughts about it? The overall paper, uh, the slot one paper, was I think more difficult mm -hmm. than the last year's paper. So the pattern was same, uh, but the difficulty level was higher, uh, and I think uh, probably DI was, was was a section which was easier. Otherwise. Uh, uh, Maths and uh, English, both of them in terms of difficulty level were, were a bit higher. So that is that was my first take on, on yesterday's paper, the slot one paper. So the verbal section, particularly, uh, people have found the verbal section very difficult. Mm -hmm. In fact, there are mixed reviews. Some people say it was really very difficult. Some say it was slightly above average difficulty. So was it really difficult, or was it about about just above average difficulty? I mean, what exactly? I think I'd, I'd pick up both slot one and slot two for yep. this together. Uh, if we compare the paper with last year, you know, I think uh, last year the uh, passages were readable, the size was not, the, the length was not too much, mm -hmm. and the options were clear. Okay. But yesterday, I think in the slot one, out of the five passages, uh, comprehension was difficult for at least three passages. So right. it was, they were difficult to comprehend, and therefore, further answer. In slot two, I think the, uh, something else happened. Uh, comprehension was not that difficult. I think four uh, sets could be easily comprehended, but the options were very close. Okay. The options were not lengthy even, but they were very close options. Everything was mentioned in the passage, and most of the questions were critical reasoning type. You know, yeah. you had to find out the uh, which mm -hmm. of this supports the uh, supports the, the argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, those kind of questions, but I think they are the ones which are a little, little difficult to answer because they take time. And you know you have to be very very sure of how to eliminate the option. So I think um, uh, because of the time pressure, I would say it was uh, definitely above above right. uh, average. But uh, for me, moderate to difficult was was the thing. As far as RC is concerned, okay. I suppose we can say ki, uh, I want to ask one thing. We can say that VA section will be the deciding factor. Uh, I think uh, what when I spoke to a few students, I found that uh, according to them. Uh, they said that if you compare 2018 paper with 2019, the VA was on the easier side. According to them, uh, if you... Because in my slot, I uh, didn't find uh, five uh, sentences. Uh, right. uh, so but parajumbles was, I, I think, odd one out was Correct, more. yes. Uh, so, uh, I think what, when, I, when I spoke to a number of students, according to them, uh, the VA was on the easier side. So, if you have missed the VA, then I think you will have difficulty uh, getting the right uh, score in the section. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, what I would say is, uh, to look at summary questions, generally we have three summary questions. People said that two were doable and one was very difficult. And uh, the other sentence had usually the same five mm -hmm. sentences and you had to pick one or one out. They said that they found the VA questions easier than what came in the mocks. That is one thing which I would say is a good thing. Why? Because in the mocks, people were having difficulty scoring in the VA, but here they found it a bit easier. So VA can be a big decider. And uh, when we spoke to students about the RC section, they said that the passages were not so easy to understand. So we had this passage which discussed about uh, the Arctic penguin and how they maintain this body temperature, something like this. Then there was one passage, uh, I think, on uh, folk music, British folk music, something. 
so the topics were not something which was like you know from current affairs mm -hmm. which you could easily relate with right sir uh, what about your opinion for the first slot quant section i think a quant section is uh, almost uh, similar to that 2018 तो सर 18 में जो इजी आया था या मतलब लोग बोल रहे कि 18 में 18 से थोड़ा सा ये सेक्शन इजी था वैसे 18 में क्वेश्चन थोड़ा ट्रिकी थे अच्छा राइट बट दिस टाइम वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ वेटेज ऑफ यू लाइक द 2018 वी हैव 14 क्वेश्चन अराउंड इन अरिथमेटिक डिमोशन अरिथमेटिक डोमिनेटेड इन सेक्शन इन ओस ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स अरिथमेटिक डोमिनेटेड देयर वाज लॉट ऑफ मॉडर्न मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन इन स्लॉट 2 दिस आई हैव अटेम्प्टेड और मॉडर्न मैथमेटिक्स का एक भी सवाल नहीं था और दूसरी चीज है कि मुझे लगता है कि अर्थमेटिक के क्वेश्चन भी जो थे पीपल आर सेइंग कि अर्थमेटिक क्वेश्चन डोमिनेट करे तो जिसमेटिक अच्छी हुई वो अच्छा कर रहे बट दो क्वेश्चन विच वर आज इन नॉन एमसीक्यू सेक्शन पार्ट और नॉन एमसीक्यू पार्ट में उनमें टाइम टेकिंग थे वो वो मतलब स्टूडेंट परसपेक्ट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से अगर देखा जाए इफ यू आर एक्सपर्ट तो मतलब आपने कई तरीके से आप उसको सॉल्व करते हैं बट ऑन एन एवरेज एवरेज स्टूडेंट के लिए वो टाइम टेकिंग थे तो ये पक्का स्पीड ब्रेकर था अच्छा एडिंग टू सर्स पॉइंट एक्चुअली इफ आई कंपेयर माय सेल्फ टू माय अटेम्प्टिंग अ कैट तो लास्ट ईयर आई हैव नॉट यूज्ड मच यूज्ड द कैलकुलेटर पार्ट बट दिस टाइम आई हैव यूज्ड एग्जैक्टली नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस का बिकॉज़ ऑफ द स्मार्टली जिसने कैलकुलेटर यूज किया उसका फायदा उसका फायदा है उसका फायदा तो इन शॉर्ट इफ यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड मोर क्वेश्चंस देन आई थिंक यू आर लाइकली टू गेट मोर मार्क्स इन द कॉन सेक्शन बिकॉज़ कहीं ना कहीं स्पीड एक डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर हो गया एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक यू नो because the questions were kind of straight forward if you're reading the question properly chances are you'd get the answer especially in slot 2 so the attempts had to be higher without a doubt uh, you know because as a, because if the question is simple or straight forward the chances of get a mistake decreases but i think the options were very well crafted hmm. uh, you know there were values for example there was a question which talked of a value in 2015 and then 19 with a 10% increase and the yeah, other 25 so when you solve the op So solve the equation, you get an x. So the value of x was also there, but the question asked the value of 1.1x. The options are crafted properly. There was a question where you had to just find out the volume and surface area, but again the option was so presented that you might not have been able to. The chances reach. of making silly mistakes. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
बाई स्क्वायर करके जो सर्किल के फॉर्मूले बना हुए थे लेकिन उसमें भी मुझे लगता नहीं कि बहुत ज्यादा जोमेट्री यूज हुई थी तो उस बेसिस पे आप कह सकते हैं कि स्लॉट क्योंकि इधर भले अर्थमेटिक डोमिनेटिंग था बट अरेथमेटिक डोमिनेटिंग का एल्जेब्रा भी आपकी बहुत बेसिक लेवल पूछी गई तो बहुत हाई फाई नहीं थी बट मुझे लगता है कि दोनों पेपर में स्लॉट वन स्लॉट टू में इतना ज्यादा फर्क नहीं था कि आप ये कहते हैं कि स्लॉट टू का मैथ जो है वो सर मैं आपको एक और है दो हजार अठारह से अगर हम कंपेयर करें हाँ दो हजार अठारह का बजे कट ऑफ ज्यादा जाएगा जैसे लास्ट ईयर कट ऑफ जो दो हजार अठारह में नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट अराउंड फिफ्टी स्कोर्स का राउंड होगा सर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी सर दिस टाइम अच्छा पिछले दो तीन सालों से एक चीज और मुझे समझ आ रही है कि की जोमेट्री बेस पूरा मेजरली कैट हुआ करता था बट मैटिक की थोड़ा सा शिफ्ट हुआ जो कि उनका Among the three sections, one was the easiest. Yeah. At least in the first slot. Yes. Second slot. In second slot. In second slot. One was the easiest. We could have attempted twenty plus questions. Yeah. A sixty score would be a good thing. Make sure ninety nine percent. Yes. Yes. So now we'll explain to LRDI. What I got to know from the students is that LRDI in the second slot was quite difficult. सबसे पहले क्योंकि आप वर्बल लेकर के जा रहे थे आपको ट्रांजेक्शन करना होता है है ना क्योंकि दिमाग में वर्बल चल रही होती है आप एल आई डी आई में मैं सबसे पहले कैलकुलेशन वाला बेसिक जो कैलकुलेटिव डी आई होती है कैलकुलेशन करनी थोड़ा नंबर के साथ करना है वो एक सेट करने के बाद में क्योंकि एल आर इजी होता था तो एक मेरा डी आई का चार क्वेश्चन का सेट हो गया तो मैं फिर एल आर पे दो सेट करने की कोशिश करता था कि मेरा होता था बट ब्लेंडर आई हैव डन दिस टाइम की आई हैव डन वन डी आई सेट डन आई मूव टू एल आर एंड आई गॉट स्टेट मतलब क्वेश्चंस आपको एल के ही लगेंगे कि मतलब डुएबल है करने वाले ऐसे फैमिली के लेकिन आप देर आर वेरी मच चांसेस कि आप उसमें स्टक हो और ऐसे भी स्टूडेंट अपने स्टूडेंट है जिन्होंने उन क्वेश्चंस को बहुत अच्छे अप्रोच से कर भी लिया तो एक्चुअली में व्हाट दे वर आस्किंग दिस टाइम तो जैसे ऐसा लगा था कि रियल टाइम प्रॉब्लम सोल्विंग एबिलिटी आप किस बार टेस्ट कर रहे हैं क्योंकि आप यहाँ से एक चीज और हमें लर्निंग मिलती है की जो यंग एक्सपीरियंस है जो अगले साल कार्ड लिखने वाले हैं कि एक फिक्स स्ट्रेटेजी मन में लेके ना जाए है ना कि भैया उसमें आप क्वेश्चन पेपर के हिसाब से आपको डिसीजन लेना चाहिए कि हमें और हम लोग कई बार करते हैं हम बीइंग एक्सपर्ट भी हम कई बार ये ये गलती कर जाते हैं कि हमें फिर स्ट्रेटजी देखे गए कि यार हमें ये करना है पहले बाद में वो करना है और पता चला कि जो हमें पहले करना था वो वो डिफिकल्ट आ गया जो हमें बाद में हम सोच रहे थे वो वो ईजी आ गया तो मतलब इस चीज में तो हमेशा डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऊपर नीचे अलग अलग टॉपिक से करता रहता है The graphs were not interconnected per se, and the values were 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 simple. For example, there was this uh, this web it graph which which had ten percent, forty percent, spider, spider, ten percent, twenty percent, forty percent, fifty percent values. Then there was this spread, this this, this uh, mythological scatter plot, a mythological yeah. scatter plot. So it had values like six hundred, four hundred, five hundred. You have to find find out averages for a given given number of points. So the calculation was not very intense. As a matter of fact. I think it was for the first time that DI did not require calculator, but matched it. Yes. So they were questions were direct, which could could have been attempted by plain sight. As far as LR was concerned, I think it was tempting in the sense that if you look at LR questions, most of the question had answers. They were not cannot be determined, data insufficient, or almost all questions. It used to happen earlier. Yeah. That you don't know if you are correct. Even if you have numbers, you don't know. In yesterday's slot two paper, almost all LR questions had definite answers. So you look at the site. You look at the questions. You would feel like doing them, but every question had cases that you had to make, mm-hmm. and eventually they would, you know, 
uh, get cancelled out. So I think the strategy for the LR, these kind of LR questions would be try and do one or two questions from each set, from each set. rather than spending time and exactly. trying to crack exactly. the entire set. So if from four sets you're able to do say 1.5 question per per set on average, six questions out of that is good. Plus three or four, three or four DI sets, whatever you're able to do from there, that would have been the strategy for the second slot at least. Uh, the first first slot LRDI, uh, the feedback that we got was the fact that it was it was on the easier side, easier side, for, uh, as compared to slot two, slot two. Uh, and the uh, three to four sets were easily doable, uh, which was a good attempt. Uh, so, sir, we one. have for slot one, slot two, point around sixty for ninety nine percent time. Yes. What for LRDI? What score should the student? Uh, should have 40, mind 45, that, okay, so around 45. 45. 45 I think first slot 2 around 45-ish and first slot 1 maybe plus 2 questions. Plus two questions. So you can say 45 for slot 2, 99% time yes. and 50 for slot 1, 99% time. Yeah. So we have 64 yeah. point and we have 45, 45 respectively yeah. for uh, yes, uh, yes, LRDI yes. slot 1, slot 2. Now coming to the final verbal section because that is going to be the decider in the sense that most of the students feel that uh, it is this that will decide finally mm. whether they get calls or not. What cutoff uh, can we say? Can we guess really? Because you know everyone has been giving strange mm. numbers. Some people say that mm. 40 should be the cutoff for 90 percentile and 50 for 90 percentile. I have uh, read, read on some other companies right. portal they are giving the... Uh, School ah, hai, but uh, but uh, again, uh, my analysis, 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 my उसमें से अगर सही है तो करीबन 14 या 13 का सही आंकड़ा रख सकता हूं मैं 30 तो 39 प्लस अगर मैं देखा जाए यहां से हम 15 नंबर लेते हैं तो मुझे लग रहा है कि भाई 50 54 शुड बी द शुड बी द स्कोर फॉर 96 97 जो मेरे अंदाज आ रहा है आपका स्कोर वीआरसी सेक्शन में इट हैज टू बी मोर देन एलआरडी राइट लेस देन क्वांट चलेगा बट ऐसा Okay. And then you have hmm. around 50 45, 45 to 50. So, like overall, we can say that 150 is not going to be able to do it. So, 99 plus is not going to be able to do it. Maybe 99.5. Last year, 99 was at around 150 or 55. Uh, this year, it should be a little lower than that. So, we 145. 145 should be 99. 99. Hmm. Right. So, this is the overall. So this is what we have uh, from our experts and uh, we thank all the members again. Yes, sir, kuch final kuch points of risk kar if we have missed something. I think, I think yeah. uh, the cover hoi gaya, uh, a word of caution for the 2020 students who right. would start their preparation yes. for next year. Uh, I think this is what we were discussing prior to this. Uh, you know, you, students tend to spend time with maths, they tend to spend, uh, tend to spend time with LRDA. Uh, English is something that gets neglected. But when you start doing mocks, you, mm-hmm. you tend to attempt RCs more. But as this paper uh, showed, every part of the paper is important and you cannot be leaving uh, any part altogether, you know. Uh, the idea is to get easy questions done and therefore you know what kind of paper comes, what are the different aspects of the paper. Make sure you invest in every section of the paper, right. You may not be able to develop that kind of proficiency in every section, but at least you have to be in a position to attempt the easy questions. If you're doing that, there is no way why you will not you know, have a good attempt uh, next year. Right. That's wonderful. So for CAT 2020 particularly, you know, we would like to say that uh, give equal importance to all the three sections and all, don't always feel that the paper this year would be like last year. Yes. So many people went to write CAT 19, CAT 19 thinking that CAT 18 was uh, very easy for, for the verbal section. So they, they went with the idea that they would maximize in the verbal section. Yeah. They say, what I had, they lost caution. So maybe they have over attempted. Maybe their accuracy may not be up to the mark. Absolutely. So the thing we learn is that you should not take things for granted and don't always assume that things would be the way they were last year. <laughs> so with this, we end today's uh, discussion. Thanks a lot, uh, all the members. And it was really a pleasure to have you all here. And uh, thanks a lot, uh, viewers, for watching uh, the entire discussion till this point. And uh, for any kind of queries for CAT 2020, definitely uh, please visit Team Satyam's website. Thank you.